guys welcome back I know it's been a very long time since I've put anything on YouTube and I apologize the reason being is that with everything that's been going on like the corona and the protests and all the craziness of the world right now I honestly just have not found the motivation to want to put on makeup and want to film and want to do this and I'm sorry for that um just a lot of craziness going on right now in the world out there uh, some good news is that I have officially, as of the end of May, I have been on YouTube for one whole year, so it was my year anniversary of YouTube, and I know I don't have a crazy following here, I only have like 71 subscribers, however I want to thank you guys very much for following and liking my videos and watching my content, I really really appreciate it. Um, I love when you guys subscribe, I love seeing the views on my videos, sometimes, and I really, really love reading your comments, and I try my absolute hardest to get back to each and every one of you. As a matter of fact, I think I have responded to every comment you guys have ever sent me. I love reading them, I love reading your stories that you send me, everything. So once again, thank you very much. Now in May, it was my birthday, and if you go back and watch my Little Miss No Name video, um, I got her in April, but it was an early birthday present for my husband. However, also in May, there's Mother's Day, and I got a really awesome Mother's Day present that I wanted to show you guys. And um, I know that this Barbie, it's a Barbie, and I know that this Barbie is huge in any Barbie collector's collection. It's like a staple Barbie, uh, and that is Earring Magic Hen. Oh, I've wanted him for so long, I just could never find... A good enough price to purchase a mat. Here's the box. And you get little earrings. It's a Barbie and Ken on them. And there's a little girl wearing her earrings, her clip on earrings. And then we get, I want to say Midge and Teresa, but I don't think they gave these girls names. I think they were just Barbie. So I'm going to pause and show you guys better detail out of the box and here is Ken out of the box I think he is awesome he has like I don't want to take him fully off because I do intend on keeping him in the box until I absolutely can't anymore because his box isn't in the greatest shape but he has like highlighted hair and an earring and his little vest and mesh shirt, pants, shoes. And I kind of wanted to tell the story that I heard about how he was made and like kind of the controversies behind it. So um, this is going to be for anybody 18 or older. So if you're under 18 and you want to see this, please, please get your parents' permission because we're talking about some kind of controversial issues here. So this was made, uh, the story goes is that Mattel, when they did Earring Magic Barbie, who I also have, um, and they wanted to do her Ken for that, uh, they sent a bunch of reps to like the hot spots and to see, you know, like clubs and stuff to see what the people were wearing. And the rumor is that they sent these reps to a gay club, a gay bar, a gay rave, something along them lines, and this is what they came back with. Um... Now, I know I had a gay cousin, and in the 90s, I swear he used to wear these shirts. I mean, the doll even kind of looks like him, except for the fact that uh, he had brown eyes, but he used to bleach his hair like this. Um, and this is like what the fashion of gay men in the 90s were wearing. Maybe even straight men. I was young, I don't know, but I think he is awesome. And the other controversy is that this ring around his neck, now it's supposed to, you're supposed to put these charms on the ring, so it's supposed to uh, say Barbie or Ken on it. But the controversy with this is that this little loop here is a, um, <laughs> a penis ring, if you will. Um, but like I said, it's just meant to loop these through there. It's, it's funny, that's all. But... So Mattel had all these crazy parents writing in and protesting this Barbie and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So they pulled him off the shelf. So I was very lucky to be able to have 
obtained him. Nail Mattel, like, I mean, they pulled this one off the shelf, but Nail Mattel is very open to the gay community. I mean, they just made the BMR 1959 uh, a male doll with neon hair and makeup, so they're very more open to it today than they were in, what, 92? Um, but I thought it would be just a cool little thing to show you guys. Thank you very much for all of your views this whole year, all of your comments, everything. Thank you very much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.